everyone, I'm Jeff Lineberry, and I want to thank all of you for taking the time to watch this video series presented by the AACD and learn more about cracked teeth and how we can diagnose and manage them. Every day, almost all of us as restorative dentists will have patients present to our offices just like this, where they have two old failing amalgams that need to be replaced. It seems pretty straightforward, right? We anesthetize the patient, we isolate the teeth, we remove the old restorations, we remove the decay, put in new restorations, adjust their bites, polish the restorations, and away they go. But lo and behold, after we remove the old restorations, we find teeth just like this that have decay and they also have cracks in them. They're not causing any pain on biting or any other signs of a cracked tooth to the patient. In fact, for most of us, when we think about cracked tooth, we think about cracked tooth syndrome, which we've all heard at one point or another in our professional career. It's because a patient is simply coming in and stating that they have pain on biting. So what do we do with these teeth? Or should we do anything different with these types of cracks? Do we simply replace the restoration with another filling? Or do we look at doing more extensive treatment and attempt to correct the crack that's present? Cracked teeth is something that almost every restorative dentist encounters every day, yet there are lots of questions about the types of cracks and how deep it is, how do we restore the tooth, does it need a crown, does it need a root canal, or do we simply need to extract the tooth? These are a lot of great questions that we all battle with on a regular basis when we're trying to help provide our patients with the very best care. So for us to make the best decisions for our patients, we have to have some clarity and understanding about what we're seeing and how do we treat and manage a cracked tooth. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this course. We're going to review and discuss the different types of cracked teeth and what are the best ways for us to diagnose cracks and fractures in teeth. And finally, once we made a proper diagnosis, we're going to spend some time reviewing and discussing when we should treat and how to manage cracks in teeth. So are cracked teeth really a big deal? I mean, really, in the grand scheme of things, are cracked teeth that important? Well, interesting enough, at the American Association of Endodontist Meeting in 2015, they referred to cracked teeth as an epidemic. Wow, an epidemic. Now that's saying a lot, and obviously why the American Association of Endodontists feels this way is they see the number of cracks that lead to pulpal involvement and tooth loss. In fact, cracked teeth are very prevalent in today's society, and actually cracks and fractures are the third leading cause of tooth loss today. Because of this, the American Association of Endodontists has created a special committee that is looking at cracked teeth and developing guidelines to diagnose and manage cracked teeth. So stay tuned as we begin to see the results of this committee and the following studies. So we have to ask ourselves, how is it that so many teeth are cracking and fracturing? Really, the overall process of teeth cracking and fracturing is really a poorly understood process. One of the problems when it comes to a cracked tooth is the term itself is loosely used and it becomes a blanket term, if you will, to cover just about any crack or fracture that occurs in a tooth.